Hello there. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. Press the free like button if you think that I will always be the bigger action movie star than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Only movie from Dwayne that was decent was Walking Tall. So I saw and I heard about the match between Ricochet and Dragunov. And a lot of people are not trying to talk about how after the match on social media and in a promo, Ricochet kind of snapped. He said that something's got to give. Something's got to change. And then he said, who gives a shit anymore? So what does that mean? To me, it feels like, hey, we might get a heel ricochet someday. I'm like, will this work? Listen, I say, why not? I want to see a more aggressive, edgier ricochet. I want to see where that goes. Now, I thought this was bad booking. I'm like, man, all you Mark Rick Ray guys, you don't get the business, right? You don't get storytelling. This match doesn't, did not do Ricochet any favors based on we knew he was going to lose. So who cares if this was a great match? I didn't care. Dog, before the match, we all knew Ricochet was losing based on Dragunov being a new draft pick and he has to make a splash. He has to win his first match. So it makes sense. So why would you book the match if you've been pushing Ricochet for months? right? He's had a hot streak. Okay, why would you feed him to drag it off for a work rate King of the Ring match? Like, man, like, I did not like this. Yes, all you fans were drugging off to the work rate of this match, but I wasn't. Because I'm like, man, this is going to hurt Ricochet. Because Triple H wants to push the dragon off down our goddamn throats. So we all knew Ricochet was losing. So let's say Ricochet as a heel. Does he have upside? Hell yeah! Ricochet has tons of upside as, hmm, what kind of hill should Ricochet be? I always pitched he should be a fitness model like heel. Based on, hey, this dude has a great look, I say why not? But if we want to go down the path of, okay, let's make him a Chris Jericho-like aggressive heel, I say why not? Um, but to me, it always felt like Ricochet did not want to be a heel, even though it made sense for him to be a heel these past five years. But see, Ricochet is like, he's like CM Junk and Clay Rose in terms of those guys don't want to be heels. See, people always say, oh, Clay Rose, he needs to be a heel, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hold on, man. That dude does not want to be a heel. Same thing as, as fucking um, CM Junk. See, a lot of people don't bring up this fact about CM Junk. Right? You always crying about how Cody Rose, he needs to be a heel. I'm like, hold on, man. CM Junk, how come he doesn't want to be a heel? Even though he's a heel in real life, I say, why not be a heel on TV? I don't know why CM Junk don't want to embrace being a heel on TV. Right? So stop throwing Cody Rose under the bus. Why not throw CM Junk under the bus? He does not want to be a heel either. That's facts. So, to get back to Ricochet. Him as a heel, this might be a good idea. Even though, yes, the crowd does love him. But, hey, why not, man? Dude, he's been here for, like, what, seven years? <laughs> like, a long-ass time now. He needs a change. I say, why not make him a heel? Because I don't know if I ever saw Ricochet as a heel, ever in his career, even on indies. So, I will say this. He is still better than Will No Spray. That's a fact. He's still better than Will No Spray. So, I say, why not keep pushing him, but give him a heel character? Like I said, make him a fitness model like heel, but give him elements of Chris Jericho as a heel. I say, why not? Let's change something, right? Because now, it looks like Dragunov is the goddamn flavor of the month. So, something has to change. Um... You can't have Ricochet fucking blend in with the other faces in that mid card. Okay, turn him heel now. Why not? So, I saw the match between Gunther the Ring and Sheamus. Like, man, once again, why do you work with marks like this stuff? See, this is what Bret Hart was talking about. His chops are stupid. His chops make no sense. For the past five, six years, 
I've never liked his chops. Listen, you can chop somebody and make it look real without hurting them. I saw Seamus. This dude posted pictures of his red chest. I'm like, man, that's that's wild. Look, Chris Benoit, he never did that to people's chests. Okay, he worked you. He made you believe he was hitting people hard, but he really wasn't. People will tell you that those were work chops that were more so selling for the opponent. The opponent has to make the chops look devastating. You, as the offensive wrestler, it's not your job to make your chops look so hard where it's like you got to hit them hard as fuck. No, man, that's not how that works. Even Jim Cornette said last week, the idea of the chop, you have to make it look real, but you don't hurt your opponent because your opponent has to sell it. All of Chris Benoit's opponents, they sold it more than he hit them hard. That's the point. Hell, um, most of Chris Benoit's chops they were more so to the left peck area most of the time. See, some of y'all don't know that, right? Okay, you got to put his videos on slow-mo. He was not hitting you on the center of your chest, right? So he was trying to protect his opponents via the damn chop. Listen, Gulfa, he hits you. He don't chop you, he hits you. But it's like, bro, what's the point? Listen, the cat's out of the bag. We know it's a work. We know it's fake. So, people are not going to remember that you gave Sheamus a red chest next week, bro. We don't give a fuck. That does not make you a badass. This does not make you look legitimate. We know it's fake, bro. You trying to hurt your opponent's chest is not going to convince the audience that you are real or wrestling is real. Okay? This is pointless. All you are doing is trying to give people the Kofi Kingston chest. All you are doing is trying to give people the Chris Jericho chest. Is that worth it? No. We know it's fake. That's why it's not worth it. So why do it? This is what Bret Hart was talking about. You can chop somebody hard, but don't hurt them, man. Like, I don't get it. Make it look real, but you don't got to hurt them like that. That's, that's wild to me. It's fake, bro. We know it's work. Like, this does not make him a badass, man. Y'all some marks if you think that. The fuck? Okay, take your ass to the goddamn UFC if you want to watch shoot fighting. This is a work. This is fake pro wrestling, man. Like, who gives a fuck? But to get back to Ricochet, um, him being a heel, this is a great idea. Hell, he might actually change his style. Hell, we might see less of the flippy dippy shit. You never know. And his promos might get better. See, we don't know how Ricochet would sound as a heel wrestler in promos. We don't know. Like, there's some people that suck as a good guy promo, but there's a lot of people that, that will get better and be elevated if they were to cut a heel promo. That's facts. Like, I feel like Carmelo Hayes, that dude is a trash promo as a good guy. But as a heel, he's a decent promo. I think that can be Ricochet. So, this is a great idea. I mean, you got to turn Ricochet heel. Because I feel like this show has too many baby faces on Raw. So, there's a spot that Ricochet can fill as a heel. He has tons of opponents as a heel on Raw. Why not Ricochet and Sami Zayn? Right? Great matchup. So, let's go back to his run down in NXT. Man, I think that Ricochet... Man, he could have been a great heel on that show. So, where do I see this going? I think via the next two months, I see Ricochet becoming a heel. I say, why not, man? He has no other options. I think this will be a fresh restart for his career. Because, listen, I've never seen Ricochet as a heel. So, this will be new, fresh. Um, his promos will get better. And I think Ricochet would be must-see TV. Imagine a more aggressive, edgier Ricochet under Triple H. This will be interesting. I think Ricochet can be a poor man's Chris Jericho if you turn him heel. Because Ricochet has a great look. Now, I feel like Ricochet has had his ups and downs on the main roster. So, 
I think people will be invested in his new character as a heel. Um, do I think Ricochet has had a good career in the World Wrestling Federation? Yes. Hell yes. I'm like, listen, he's not a, I would say, a main eventer. He's a mid-card to upper mid-card guy. And that's a great thing. See, not everybody got to be a main eventer. But if you push him right as a heel, hell, you never know. He might crack that main event scene. You, you never know, right? How about Dane Priest? A good guy, Dane Priest, versus a heel ricochet. I say, why the fuck not? That will be interesting. Because I will compare Ricochet to John Cena. Whereas, like, man, I can't imagine him as a heel at this point. So that would be interesting. A more aggressive Ricochet that can't take it no more. But to me, I think Ricochet has had a good career on the main roster. Like, bro, I can't believe he survived the Vince McMahon regime. Right? But I do believe that Triple H has booked Ricochet more better than Vince in terms of he don't cut long promos. It felt like Vince McMahon was trying to make Ricochet a better talker by giving him more mic time. I'm like, man, you can't give him more microphone time, man. He's not that good on promos. Um, With Triple H, Ricochet is a man of few words, and that's how he should be booked as a good guy. But as a heel, let's see where this goes. But overall, Ricochet has had a decent career on the main roster. Um, he's a former IC champion, former U.S. champion. I feel like for that mid-card, he has been a great worker. He is the definition of he is what you look for in a work rate mid-card talent where you put him out there to have good matches that entertain the fans. That's his job. Go out there, have entertaining matches in that mid-card. And to me, Ricochet has always done his job. So I say, why not give him a heel run? I think this will revitalize his career if he was to be a heel. Because I think, listen, as a heel, you got to be on it when it comes to your promos. So this will get him better as a promo and obviously management do love ricochet because how come he's not where apollo cruz is at right he's not apollo cruz this man is actually on tv every week so why would ricochet ever leave this company dude he's a make card guy but he's on tv every week so you can't compare him to apollo cruz this dude is on TV every goddamn week, even under Vince McMahon. He was always on TV. So, what more can you ask for if you are Ricochet? Now, at first, I would say two, three years ago, I said this guy should go to all elite fake pro wrestling. But, not anymore. Why? Because Triple H is in charge. So, <laughs> what's the point? Triple H is the one who signed Ricochet. So, there's no point. He loves Ricochet. So, trust me. He ain't going nowhere. His girl is on a main roster with him. He ain't dumb enough to leave her alone. So trust me, he ain't going nowhere. Like what idiot would leave the World Wrestling Federation and leave Samantha Irvin all alone by herself? I'm like, bro, are you dumb? Like there's tons of guys that would love to smash Samantha Irvin on that main roster. So please, you got to keep tabs on Samantha Irvin. So trust me, Ricochet, he ain't going nowhere. But I would love to see him as a heel on the main roster, and I think it's going to happen. Um, because that promo and his Twitter page, that's very telling. He said, listen, who gives a shit anymore? He said, something has got to change. Okay, what do you mean? Turn into a bad guy. Join the dark side. That's all I'm saying. Ricochet, listen, this can be his year. If he turns to the dark side, let's see it, man. If you are a real fan of Ricochet, you should be hyping up a possible heel turn for this guy. Like I said a long time ago, I compared Ricochet to a modern day Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, a guy that even him, he never turned heel. So I would say, hey, man, Ricochet, he has to break through that glass ceiling. Why not do it now? Let's see a heel Ricochet on the main roster. Okay, I I I'm done.